I spent $1,000 on TCG Player. Let's see how it's going. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and at the beginning of this year I spent $1,000 on Yu-Gi-Oh cards on TCG Player just to see like how our money would do by the end of the year and we've done one update so far about five months in and now we're about eight months in, we're getting into September so it's been eight full months, we're gonna see exactly how our money is doing. It's gonna be interesting to see because last time I think we made like 20 bucks total, you know, which after shipping and everything we probably actually lost a little bit of money. At the beginning of 2022, the card boom was still kind of in effect but now we're kind of getting towards like a tanking period you know not necessarily saying cards are going to nothing or whatever but the cards are much lower now so let's see if that affected like the cards we spent or if we're actually doing okay but first we have a giveaway i'll be giving away a 50 dollars tcg player gift card which usually ends up being me just paypaling you 50 bucks because i don't even know how to get a gift card so 50 dollars giveaway basically all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know what you think about this video let me know about the cards we bought should we have bought something else what is a really good card we could have bought in january and we would have made a ton of money on like let me know in the comments what you think all right let's get into this so the first thing we have let's just go over what we got previously the first card we got was a blue eyes white dragon uh ultimate rare i think this was supposed to be near mint but we got it in light play is that what happened i think i still should have marked this as near mint but it was actually light play so uh the cost was 25.99 because it was supposed to be near mint and then last time we checked it was only 11 bucks because it was actually lightly played same thing with the silent swords but it was supposed to be near mint it wasn't that actually killed the value which if we had gotten near mint cards i think we'd be doing a lot better right now and that is something i wanted to like highlight in this sort of experiment because like when you buy cards a lot of the time they come in a different condition than you expect and you have to return them and i didn't i probably should have for the sake of the video but i didn't so we've got the astral leviathan lightning storm starlight solemn morning ulti unlimited that's like the one of the only unlimited i guess we got the blue eyes as well uh, a dusted gold i thought was going to do I think that card's doing terrible. We're going to have to see. Stratos is probably one of our heroes right now. Literally. Get it? Stratos. Hero. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that was bad. Then we've got the Flare Metal Dragon and the Warriors Triumph deck. So I still have all these cards, obviously, because it's for the experiment. So let's see what the update is. We're going to go check the Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultimate Rare from the starter deck. We just graded a few of those. Maybe if we got some grade, it would be interesting to see. Like, if we graded one and it got a 10, that card's like $700. That could, like, make almost all our money back. So let's just see how they're doing on TCG Player. All right, so we're going to go for the Blue Eyes. Uh, the annoying thing about this is TCG Player does this weird thing where it, they, like have a designator as UTR as an ultimate rare. So like, I kind of want to just show you guys this just so you can see how annoying it is. So like, let's say we just search like blue eyes, like a normal person would do. If you don't know this, you're like, oh, blue eyes, white dragon. Let's see what they got. Okay, first of all, it saves on Pokemon for some reason, I don't know why. So we go to Yu-Gi-Oh! You're like, okay, let's go to the rarity. Let's see, uh, ult ultimate, oh, I can't, I can't type, ultimate, I literally can't. Oh wait, it does come up. Okay, maybe they fixed that. Cause it used to be where like, or at least some cases, there's the rarity's not even there. So like you have to actually specifically type in utr to fix it but maybe they fixed that that's actually really cool okay so first we're looking at first edition we got to look at lightly played because ours is lightly played oh and we're going with verified so we always go with verified because like yeah some of these guys they're probably legit you know 100 percent stuff but it's just the best to go with the verified seller to you know pretty sure that those guys are legit these guys not having a lot of sales well actually 624 is not that bad could be like a scammer or something so and sometimes there's stuff listed for like a dollar so unlimited gaming has that at 798 so that's what we're gonna do okay so we're back hey look we still have made four cents so oh wait whoops i wasn't supposed to update that one all right so as you can see we have a 0.005 percent change since we bought it so that we kind of lost a little bit since last time when it was at 999 wait oh this is first edition Oh, crap. Uh, is the unlimited? Well, at least this one's near mint. So maybe, maybe five bucks. Oh, no, we're getting destroyed this time. All right. All right. We've already lost a ton of money so far. This is not looking good. Okay. Let's hope the other stuff's better. All right. Next up, what is it? Silent Swordsman level five. This is another one I think could have done really well. Okay. Let's see. Let's try this again and see if they've actually updated. Let's see if the ultimate rare is available. Okay. Here's what I'm talking about. See, there's no ultimate rare. Let's see if we can see. And there's no option on the rarity. See, it should say I have an ultimate rare option, but because we didn't type specifically uh, the UTR or whatever, then it doesn't pop up, which is, was that level three? Whoops. And then this happens because there's 20 different silent swordsmen. Then there's the ultimate rares for multiple different ones. It's just very frustrating. I wish they would not do that with the designators. Just have them all in one spot and then you can filter to the right one that you want instead of having to do this. It's just kind of an annoying. Like if you know it's there, it's actually pretty easy. But if you don't know it's there, like most people probably and me for a long time, it's just obnoxious. So we have ulti first edition. Let's see what this thing's at. I kind of want to see what the near mint would be at, but we'll start with the light plate. Uh, 3340. So 
that it's gone down a little bit even more so 33 40 not looking too good let's see what it would be if it was if it was a uh, near men i want to see what that would be see look it'd be 124 dollars and 95 cents so uh, 124 dollars and 95 cents i mean we would be crushing it right now we'd be up almost $40, which would be insane. So unfortunately that uh, is not what's actually happening because we got a lightly played copy, but still really nice. Um, yeah, okay, not looking so good so far, guys. All right, next we got the Leviathan. I paid $110 for this card. Oh, that's rough, man. That card's definitely not that high. Let's just see, okay. Leviathan Dragon, number 17. Come on, baby. I should have bought the Ghoster and said that would have been a lot cooler. Let's see, Astral. Okay, we got the specific designator again. Uh oh, okay, lightly, that's lightly played. Come on, 60. No, okay, that's Spanish. Okay, 61.99. This thing's even lower than before. This card is doing so bad. So currently, we have lost money on every single card. The change in percent. Um, okay, I just fixed this. So now we are literally negative on all four so far. We've lost almost $50 on the Leviathan Dragon. We've lost $53 on the Silent Source, and mostly because it came in the wrong condition. We'd actually would be plus on that, which is unfortunate. This is not looking good. Lightning Storm's up next. I, I don't think people are playing this right now, so we probably are not looking too good our decisions so far have not been good in terms of uh value so let's see what lightning storm can bring to us come on first edition your mint oh yes we finally made some money three six four ninety let's go there we go all right we are positive 66 dollars and 49 cents i paid less than 300 for this i felt good about this when we first did it just because it's a really good card and it's like you know, it's a starlight. It's one out of 10 cases to pull. Really difficult. Wait, actually, at that point, it might have been one out of eight. I don't know if they had the, the throwback starlights yet, but that's still really nice. Okay, we made a little bit of money. Uh, so far, we are still pretty negative. That's a 22% increase here, though. I mean, we, we have a 61% decrease and a 69% there, so not looking too good. Those are lower value, though. This is the highest value card we have, so like actually increasing there is really nice. Let's check out the Solemn Warning. This is Near Mint Ulti Unlimited. If this was first edition, it'd be really nice, but that would have cost too much. I really want to do this again at some point. Probably next year, we'll do it again. If you guys want to see this again, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll probably make it happen next year, because I'm actually really enjoying like these update videos, just seeing what happen it's really fun um let's go near mint unlimited okay we might have lost a little oh wait six seven three four plus seven eight cents shipping okay six seven three four so we are down a tiny bit we're actually up though from 512 so or may 12th so that's actually not too bad um i would say yeah, it's, it's hanging stable, which is not bad for an unlimited card. I did buy this because, like, a Solemn Warning like, can be used in older formats. It is also an ulti. It's really nice. The first edition was just way too expensive, and I didn't have the budget for it. But uh, still really cool. I'm <laughs> Next up, the Evil Hero Adusted Gold. I don't think this this one's doing so hot, but let's check it out. Evil Hero Adusted Gold. Okay. Brothers of Legend, let's see how you're doing. Okay, wait. We got to clear this maybe uh let's do near mint four dollars and fifty cents we paid thirteen dollars this was a bad idea this was a bad idea the, the, i didn't really realize that this is a one of in the deck i thought it might have been a three of and because it was so expensive like 80 bucks i was thinking okay this is a nicer looking like version there's only two versions but I should have known. It was a new card at the time. It had just come out like a month ago. Of course, it's going to go down. We can learn from this, though. We can learn from this for potentially next year. Let's check the Stratos. I have high hopes for this one because Stratos did really well last time. Uh, if it can do well, maybe we can actually do something. Elements of Stratos is not coming up with the UTR, so hopefully we can find it. There it is. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Give us something good. Near Mint. Okay, that's Portuguese. It doesn't count German. Uh, that one's not verified. Verified German. Verified French. Okay, 150. No! 150. All right, so we're up one cent. Literally up one cent. We paid 149.99 and it's 150 so if you include like tax and this stuff we're getting destroyed right now okay so that was one of our big ones last time it was only 14 dollar increase but still it was pretty nice uh red eyes flare metal dragon let's see what that thing's looking like ghost Shirt first edition i actually think i need that for my binder so i like it was like a dual purpose for buying that um but yeah it's a, it's a nice one if you guys want to see an update on my like my ghost Shirt binder that i'm doing with the ultimates and the ghosts and the secrets from like every set let me know because i've actually added a lot recently so let's see how the ghost Shirt is doing what was it near mint first edition actually okay one three nine nine seven okay one three nine point nine seven no last time it was 190 ah we made one dollar everything's back to the exact same price this is insane okay all right we're back down okay we're definitely not doing so good this month uh it is not looking good all right final item warriors triumph structure deck is there any chance this is actually like i mean is there a chance it went up i highly doubt it let's see warriors triumph uh structure deck first edition 
it is exactly what we bought it at $100 we made 26 cents okay theoretically let's say we had put in the silent swords but we would actually probably be like dead even right now which is surprising let's go look at the blue eyes let's see what the blue eyes ulti is unlimited all right if we had actually gotten near mid first edition we would only be losing 10 bucks instead of the rest and then the other one we would be making a lot more so we'd have an extra we'd probably exactly be right on the dot at a thousand dollars so still losing money after like shipping and i think we had to pay like tax and everything like that so we would definitely be getting killed right now so next time i don't know we might need to switch up our strategy i think i might have bought too many like new cards like I was hoping maybe like specific new cards would go up, but it didn't seem to work that well. Basically, Lightning Storm is our hero here. We only made money technically over $1 once. So we made 26 cents. We made $1, one cent. We lost, lost, $66, lost, 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 lost. So everything else is under a dollar. So we did not do so hot on this update, but we're going to check it again one more time at the end of the year and maybe do this again and see what's going to happen. And then maybe we'll like, when we add 10 more next year, we'll update these as well, just to see how they do like year two. I think that'd be actually really cool. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Make sure to enter the $50 giveaway so you guys can buy stuff on TCG Player as well. Maybe do this along with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content content i want to remind you guys that in less than 5,000 subscribers we're opening every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh history in one video just like we did two and a half years ago two ish years ago whatever it was a lot of fun so if you want to see that make sure to subscribe shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tomefo show and then a tie show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko seth fisher stanley thomas mcclain and tone z thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.